So if you're like us, we look at all these Martin, the D series, and I remember when we first doing an order with Martin, we're trying to figure out what's the difference between the D10, the D12, the D13, the other D10 that we got. So we figured if we're struggling with this, we're gonna do a video to help explain the different versions of the D series. So what is the D series? So the D really just stands for dreadnought. Um, that denotes the body shape. And then all Martins that are labeled D will have this body shape, this size. Um, generally it's a 16 inch. Um, so other companies will do smaller ones, maybe a 15 inch, 15 and a half inch, but 16 inch means the lower belt is gonna be 16 inches. And that's the biggest, widest par portion of the guitar. Um, the other numbers have to do with how fancy it is. So the D10 is gonna be the smallest one. We actually have two D10s here, so we have the... So this one is the D10. They both say D10 on the inside of them, but obviously you can tell they're they're very different. I think one of them is a 01 and one's an 02. So I think this one is a, the 01, the D10 E01. So all, all of these are part of the Road series. Uh, so this is a imported, the made in Mexico. Now the cool thing about these, they're all solid wood. Um, and we'll get into a little bit about the 13 especially, but also with solid tops, uh, solid back and sides on them. Um, so what is, the, I think this is the most basic of them yes. all. So which the, is the, D the D10 is gonna be the most stripped down one. Um, the mahogany one, or the sapile one, solid and sealet, sapile top, it's not gonna have binding on it. Yeah, no binding. It's gonna be a satin finish. Um, other than that, it is gonna be relatively the same. It's gonna be the same electronics, very similar tuners, the same rich light uh, bridge and fretboard. And then the same, uh, same scale neck, length, same neck wood. Yeah. Yeah, same same uh, scale length, 25.4, same nut width, inch and three quarters. All have the 16 inch radius on them. So they all feel the same. They all come with, all the all of them have, or the E's meaning they have a pickup, which is a Fishman MTX or M M MXT pickup, which actually it's kind of cool. What I like about it is, is you can plug it in here, but it actually still gives you the strap button. So yes. you don't have to have actual the, they don't have the, of those have thicker, to, have to fight the strap over the giant. Trying to get it in. Um, and then they all have strap this um, built-in tuner that's right here on the inside of it, on off button right there, which is a bypass. So if once if you're plugged in and that's on, then it will bypass the signal to uh, wherever you're sending it to. So nice tuner there. And then what's interesting is when um, I was doing some more of the review videos of these specifically, they have two knobs on the inside, which is the volume knob and then the tone knob. And what's interesting what they did with Martin Fishman is that tone knob, when you start rolling it, it's flat when it's off. And then when you start turning it up, it actually increases both the treble and the bass okay. at the same time, um, which actually sounds really good. So this is a D10E. So this one is Sapile or Sapile, whatever, whatever you want to pronounce it. All solid, top back size, satin finish. Now the next one is this D10 one that you have. With the spruce top. It does have binding. Mm -hmm. It's going to be the same Sapile back and sides, same electronics, but a spruce top, and then everything's out pretty much the same on it. Yes. Yeah. So I mean, what's nice about the Road series is you're getting the Martin name, you're getting the sound, you're getting the quality, you're getting the sizes, but at a very good price. So these at go for it. What in the in the eights? Mid to high eight. So this one starts at eight ninety nine. This one's nine forty nine. So okay. about fifty dollars for the spruce Probably top. Spruce top, yeah. And then, so generally that's the D ten. And then the higher the number gets after the body shape um, number or letter is um, the more expensive it'll be. So the the twelve here. This is a twelve. It looks similar to the the one here, this D ten. But this one, the biggest difference is it has the gloss finish on it. And it still has the binding on it, still has a solid spruce top, sapile sides and back. Um, but really, the, the gloss is the biggest difference between the 10 and the 12 here, which, which does add a little bit in the, the cost right, of the it's instruments. It's just the, the process to get it glossier takes right. longer. So it's a few more hours, a few more hours into it means, you know, a few hundred more dollars. So. Right, right, being buffed out and getting it shiny like this. And then we have the, the D13, 13, uh, which is also available in a Koa 
veneer. This one features a triple A Zeracody veneer. So it's gonna be Zeracody base. If you look on the inside, you can still see it's Zeracody. But they basically take a solid piece of Zeracody that may not look as striking as this one and then put a thin piece of Zeracody that looks really nice on the outside and then they make sure that's sealed up and glued up so it never you never you can really never tell until you look on the inside um, but it is still solid even though it's a veneer on top yes, of it's, it's not going to be solid laminate. core with a veneer on top and it actually that's you know like you said a triple a beautiful looking zero coat they would on that one uh gloss finish and then what the binding is different it has the more premium white binding and then a abalone rosette mm -hmm. on the top other than that, uh, I think the only difference is this is the only one that we have that has the open geared tuners on it. This is the 12 again, but the 13 and both of these 10s we have have the closed the close tuners on them. Um, Martin says hardwood neck, so you know it's it's a, it's a nice hardwood like what a mahogany would be, but probably just whatever it's wood similar to mahogany, whatever they had around. Um, and then uh, of course the classic Martin headstock with the HPL, which is a high pressure laminate as a, the head plate here. Um, so, uh, but anyway, great guitars. They are imported. We're, you know, we're excited to have them here at Terry Carter Music Store. Um, and let, let's do, so uh, let's do this a little playing because I want to, we played, we were playing earlier, but I was playing the 10 and you were playing the 13. 13. Um, so I'll go to here to the 12 and why don't you grab the, the other 10 we have here. I mean, and this is, the, I mean, this is just a classic you know, this dreadnought is, I mean, this is a classic, you know, Martin. Quintessential but, Martin. Yeah. You know, a, gets, gets the Martin sound everyone wants. Yeah. Maybe don't like the full size, but people like to it's a big size, sacrifice yeah. the size for the, the tone. For the gets. tone it is. All right. I'm going to do the uh, Johnny Cash thing we were doing earlier. We'll do it in E here. Okay. So there you go. So now that we have a better understanding of the D series, hopefully you have a better understanding of the D series as well. The 10, two versions of the 10, the 12 right here, and then the 13 uh, Martin Road Series, TerryCarterMusicStore.com. Appreciate you being here, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Thank you.